Uh, you're going to have to do almost all these problems by hand anyway, but um, it's really nice to become proficient with them on your calculator so that you don't have to wonder if you got the right answer. Uh, you'll just be able to check it without a problem. So um, here's the problem. You might want to pause this right now and write it down. But anyway, I'm not going to wait. So what I'm going to do is insert a uh, calculator page. And the first thing I want to do is I want to actually save these things. So um, angle A, I'm going to store as, I know it's in the third quadrant. So in the third quadrant, I know that that's going to be a pi plus the reference angle. So plus and then the reference angle. And do the inverse cosine, because I was given cosine, of a positive 8 over 17. Press enter, and uh, that's going to be A now. So if I press A, I get that. Uh, B is going to be, it's in the fourth quadrant, so uh, I can either do 2 pi minus, which is what I'm going to do, um, or I could have just done the negative of the reference angle, so 2 pi minus, and then uh, it's one of the nice things about the inspire is that we don't have to change that into a different function. I'm going to do the inverse cosecant of, and then uh, 25 over 24, using the absolute value so that I'm getting the reference angle. I know to be in quadrant one. Uh, it changes it into uh, inverse cosine again. I don't know why. Uh, first question that I want to handle now is the sine of a plus b. So what I'll actually do here is I'm going to insert a different calculator page. Uh, a and b are still defined here. You can tell because if I press var, they show up. And it's telling you that they're numbers. Um, that's what the y equals 5 thing means, I think. I don't know why it says y equals, but um, they're numbers. So I need to do the sine of a plus b. I get that kind of messy. I could do um, control enter to get an approximate value like that. Um, I'm in radian mode, of course. Um, or what I can do is I can go to menu, algebra, then arrow up to trig. I want to expand and expand that, and I get the exact value, which is the decimal that I got. Um, and then I guess you probably now have the sense of how I'm going to do all of these. I go menu, algebra, trig, expand, uh, cosine of 2a. Gives me that. Um, and I can just change it around. But the key thing here is, uh, well, there are a couple of key things, I guess. Um, understanding how to expand, understanding how to store the values, and of course the most complicated part of it all is really um, getting the correct reference angle and uh, working with that. So I did that back on this page. So you have to be able to do that. If you can't do that, your calculator won't help you. Um, and you, you won't be able to do it by hand either. Um, so let's get this final one. This is one that uh, doing this by hand is just horrible. Um, doing it on the calculator, not so bad. So secant of 2a minus 3b. Uh, anything that has that answer is going to be very difficult to do by hand. But uh, my hope would be that you can uh, follow this and get really good at it, and then you won't have to wonder if you're getting the problems right or wrong. Uh, you'll just know, and you can make up your own problems. So uh, hope that is helpful to you.